What's going on guys, Zaphonix here, and I figured I'd go ahead and do my thoughts on um, the new Nintendo Direct that just came out here, so it's actually pretty interesting here. So the first thing that they started, first of all, I didn't even know about this Nintendo Direct. It just so happens that I noticed a lot of news has been kind of Nintendo-based, and I was like, wait, it's not bad news. Nintendo Direct must have came out, so it's hilarious, really. But anyway, so let's talk about it for a second here. Number one, Hyrule Warriors, or Hyrulean Warriors, uh, depends on where you saw the Direct at and what it said. Uh, this is apparently a new exclusive for the Wii U, uh, was announced today, uh, so that's another exclusive. Really, really good, really good. Uh, basically, it's like, um, um, in Japan, there's a lot of these type of games where it's like, you literally have hordes of bad guys on the screen, and you just go whooping some ass all through it. So, uh, it's very... It's, um, in, in fact, there's a game on PlayStation that's like that called One Piece Pirate Warriors and Pirate Warriors 2. So it's kind of nice to see Nintendo actually has a game like this. This will be available in 2014. They didn't give an exact date. So uh, from there, they kind of switched over to 3DS. Uh, the first thing they talked about was Kirby's Triple Deluxe. Now, this actually goes back to some of the old style gameplay. Um, back in the day, before 2D was kind of the, was, before 2D was kind of like a, well, what is known as now, 2D was actually considered kind of like a, a situation where, like, you had, like, two levels of gameplay. For example, uh, you may have this one level, and for with a press of a button, you would actually jump into a, another tier of level, you know, by just going into the background or going to the foreground, and you, you just keep walking forward there. So, apparently, they're breaking that back for this particular game, a uh, Kirby game. Uh, it is actually pretty cool here. It will also have an additional feature called Kirby Fighters, um, which will allow you to um, take any copy... Um, like many power copy that Kirby does, and go against each other in a kind of like a local multiplayer mode. It also has DDD's um, drum bass, which is also a rhythmic mode. Um, now, the first one, the Hyrule Warriors, I was like, yes, that's a great way to start. It actually looks like a fun game. Um, I did like Power Warriors, so I'm pretty sure I like this one too. So um, I kind of started off with really high expectations. I went to 3DS. Uh, Kirby doesn't really lower my expectations too much, as it is a Kirby game, and it does look pretty nice. Uh, moving on, uh, Yoshi's um, New Island was shown. Now, I'm a big fan of Yoshi's Island. It's one of my favorite Mario games to date. Um, this one's looking just as good. I can't wait to pick this one up for 3DS. Um, they didn't give an exact um, date of release, but I'm looking forward to this as well. Chibi Robo uh, Photo Finder is actually pretty interesting. Basically, what it does is that um, you actually have to use your actual physical camera for your 3DS to go ahead and find certain objects that has the same exact shape as um, what's on the screen, such as, you know, like a roll of tall tissue or whatever it may be. So basically, you would do that, and then you'll see a little animation with the robot going through it or whatever, and then it also has a story in, it, in its own. So that's actually pretty cool, too. Um, they also mentioned off uh, Poker Finder and Poker Bank. I'm sorry, Poker Bank and Poker Transporter. Now, basically, what this is is that um, not only we already know what it already does already. Poker Bank allows you to go ahead and store up to 3,000 Pokemon that you can now switch and swap into future Pokemon release games. Um, that could mean, in fact, uh, that a, a Wii U version could be um, announced very soon, which. For the record, we already saw a small smidget of Wii U um, footage for Pokemon games, so we already know that's coming out. It's not really a matter of when, but where. I mean, not a matter of what, but when, you know? So we already know it's coming out, we just gotta figure out when it's coming out. I'm assuming Poker Bank will have some inner features with that one too, but until that comes out, we're just gonna go back to talking about uh, Poker Bank and Poker Transporter, which will allow you to go in and transport all of your older games, however, not too much older, just slightly DS versions, I guess it is. Uh, games, and I mean the later DS versions, um, they'll go ahead, I get an email, they go ahead and um, allow you to transport your Pokemon to your Pokemon Bank as well, so you can go ahead and use your older Pokemon into your Pokemon um, um, Pokemon Y or Pokemon X or whatever you want to do with it. Now, um, I'm not sure if I'm really going to take advantage of this, but I will tell you this, um, apparently if you go ahead and access the Poke Bank before September um, 15th, yeah, I think it is, September 15th, um, you actually get the rare Pokemon Celebi. So it's actually a pretty cool incentive to go ahead and do it for those who are Pokemon fans. Um, yeah, so basically it is, well, to keep in mind, Poke Bank actually does cost money to actually um, do, and there is a 30-day trial. I think I will go ahead and use a 30-day trial, probably just to go ahead and um, get Celebi, to be honest with you. Um, it's a surprise if I even do that. Um, not the fact that I have a problem with it, it's just the Poke Bank in itself, I'm not really interested in it until maybe a new Pokemon game comes out that really requires me to actually use it, then we'll talk. Uh, Bravely Default, a uh, new game is coming out here. Um, I believe it's a new game. Um, <laughs> well, I remember something like that. But anyway, um, it will have sleep points. Now, these sleep points are actually generated one every eight hours 
for your 3DS um, when you close the game. Now, I was a little worried at first that, well, wait a minute, if you close the game while that particular game is open, will that have an effect on your Street Pass? The answer is no, your Street Pass will work, and you will go ahead and gather uh, sleep points as well. Um, you can have a maximum of three sleep points, and you can also do things like revive people with it, do extra damaging attacks and things of that nature with the sleep points right there. Um, there actually will be another demo coming out for it, or rather a demo, not another one, no, only one. Well, this will be the only one. But there's a demo coming out on January 2nd that will have, that will have a side story, not even um, messing up the, the full game or not. But at the same time, you will go ahead and be able to take some items from the said demo and move them to the new game. That's actually pretty cool. Good job, Nintendo, on that one. Um, definitely looking forward to playing the demo. Uh, back to Wii U. They talked about D DC, DK, rather, Tropical Freeze. Now, apparently, the storyline is that Donkey Kong Country is being attacked by snowmen. That's right. Donkey Kong Country is apparently being, tech being attacked by Xbox gamers. <laughs> For those who actually uh, know the snowmen and Xbox gamers thing, you guys are laughing. I mean, you guys are laughing now, aren't you? For those who don't know it, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's a, it's a, it's a long story. Uh, anyway, um, uh, aside from that, here's something else that actually came about, too. That's literally all they really talked about, which is that, uh, the small storyline. There really was nothing else to talk about there, um, besides the stuff they already went over regarding um, uh, Cranky Kong and all that. You know, um, another thing is Sonic Lost World will have a new exclusive Wii U DLC. The first one is actually, uh, keep in mind, these DLC are actually Nintendo-style DLC, which means that it will be Sonic running into a Nintendo-themed um, downloadable content world. So the first one is actually um, based off of Yoshi's Island, which, once again, I'm happy with because I like Yoshi's, uh, Yoshi's Island. It's one of my favorite games. Um, and that's the first one. Now, the second one was a little bit confusing. Um, that, By the way, that DLC is available now if you do have Sonic Lost World for all seven of you who actually have it. Um, honestly, it got bad reviews, but after playing the demo, it actually wasn't as bad as the demo was portraying it out to be. So, which once again got me thinking about the whole thing against Nintendo thing, because that actually was not a bad game to play. I actually do plan to pick it up eventually. Um, but, I want to go back and talk about the second DLC for Sonic Lost World. Now, he mentioned this. He said that um, he also, um, he said that you would have to link, uh, your system to the eShop in order to get the DLC. I thought your system was already linked there. I'm not sure exactly what he's referring to, but nonetheless, I'm going to say, okay, um, nod in agreement and just kind of sit back and wait for something to happen. I'll wait for later on to find out any other, other news regarding the DLC. Okay. Now, we use Sports Club, a new sports coming out, golf. Now, this is actually pretty interesting. So, the old golf courses from Wii U, um, from uh, Wii Club Sports, or rather Wii Sports, whatever it's called, uh, will actually be out um, for the game, but it's also going to include some of the older golf courses from the original Golf USA for the NES. So, that's actually pretty cool. It's also a game that um, Iwata actually helped create for the NES. So, that's one, once again, it's a great thing to look at. Um, you also, you're given another free trial for the game, too. So, for those who want to go ahead and uh, you use your trial up already and you want to go and try it again, you are more than welcome to go ahead and try it out. It's actually available right now. You guys can go ahead and get another trial in there, another 24-hour trial. I think they're going to do that with every game that's released, so that's actually not a bad thing. Um, now, it's interesting enough. Now, this was actually pretty pretty interesting. Uh, it looks like Nintendo has, a has taken a cue from some of the PC gamers out there who actually create... Uh, remix NES games. So, it's like Nintendo's actually really listening. Interesting. Um, what they did was, now they actually have something coming out called um, NES Remix, where they go ahead and create remix versions um, of certain stages from um, older games from Nintendo, the original Nintendo. Now, it's actually pretty interesting, because one of them actually had, it was kind of like a high-definition version. It was like a high-definition reversed version of Super Mario Brothers, um, was it 1-2 uh, World? So that was actually I was like, okay, hmm, I'm um, gonna actually have to check this out. Uh, this I believe is coming out in December 31st, so I will go ahead and check this out. Um, uh, no, 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 it's not actually. Um, hold on one second. Did I write it down? Um, I think it's available now. In fact, uh, I have it available now here, so it might be available now. Uh, definitely go ahead and check your eShop for that one. I believe it's available now. A uh, new game, Dr. Luigi game is actually coming out here. It's an upgraded version or maybe a part two of Dr. Mario, you might want to call it. It has local and online gameplay. Uh, it also has a regular Dr. Mario mode where you actually play like regular Dr. Mario at the same time. It also gives you another mode where you could use um, 
um, Dr. Luigi, who now has these L-shaped pills. I have no idea how you're supposed to swallow some bitches, uh, but nonetheless, it is what it is. Uh, that will be released on um, de um, December 31st, which is right down the corner. So right now, we're getting some interesting games coming out for both 2004 and 2003, respectively. Um, also, speaking of which, uh, Club Nintendo will now have a Luigi-based item uh, for sale based off of Luigi's Mansion. It's going to cost 1,500 coins. Uh, so if you have it, uh, go ahead and pre-order it. If you don't, don't bother getting it. We just want to say don't bother getting it because I want it. And you know they run out pretty fast. <laughs> and I don't have enough coins to get it right now. It costs uh, 1,500. I only have 900 coins. Um, but not to worry too much because I plan to have enough coins by the time it is released. Um, another thing I want to talk about is Smash Brothers. Apparently, um, Rosalina and Luna... Uh, the star, that is, is actually going to be in the game and uh, played as one character, not as two different well, respective characters. Now, it's actually pretty cool because um, it looks like uh, Rosalina is actually playing like a, how to put this, um, kind of like a Pokemon trainer without the uselessness of the Pokemon trainer. You know how he was like, like you had, you controlled the Pokemon for, for the most part, but then when the Pokemon trainer came out, he was kind of useless. He didn't really do shit. Well, this one... Um, it actually fights together. So I guess more so like uh, the Ice Climbers. You know what I mean? How the Ice Climbers actually worked um, back to back. You know, Papa and Nana. But anyway, moving on. Um, uh, let me see. Um, they also confirmed that this game was actually still coming out in 2014. So that's actually really good. I'm suspecting that it's going to come out in fall 2014. We should release. We should see a release date most likely during E3. Um, so, hold on to that one. We also have, um, now keep in mind, uh, Rosalina was not really, um, how to put this? I'm not surprised that she actually was announced for this particular game. Uh, number one, she was available for, um, um, she started off in, um, the Smash Brothers, not uh, Smash Brothers, she started off in the Mario game, uh, Mario Uni uh, Galaxy, I believe it is, Mario Galaxy, so there's that. And then she was also made a guest appearance in uh, Mario Kart. She also made another appearance in Mario 3D World. So I needed to say she did appear in this particular game of Smash Brothers as well. But she also appears in Mario Kart 8. So it looks like Mario Kart 8 will have Rosalina as well. Um, it's also been confirmed that they will have 4x4 off-road vehicles, besides Bowser, that is. They'll have it also that there. Also, four new characters, or five new characters were announced. Baby Mario, Baby Peach, Baby Daisy, Baby Luigi, and Rosalina were also announced there too. Also, there's a new airplane level. And this actually got a release date of spring 2014, which actually is not bad. That means that it will be released sometime within the next four months. Yes! Thank you, <laughs> you know? Um, um, also, I want to talk about this. Uh, it looks like, just in case for no one who wasn't keeping track or anything like that, it looks like Mario, um, the characters from uh, Mario Kart 8 that have been confirmed so far is Mario, Koopa, Luigi, Peach, DK, Rosalina, Waluigi, Wario, uh, Baby Mario, Baby Daisy, Baby Peach, Baby Luigi, and Yoshi. So far as I've seen, those are the characters that have been confirmed. Um, I do expect, uh, suspect that uh, Adult Daisy will also be confirmed. That's actually my wife's favorite character. Um, so, um, she'll be confirmed there. So, that's a good thing. Uh, and that's about it. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much the whole thing. Uh, this had a lot for a uh, half an hour, a little more than half an hour. This had a lot of content into it. Some new games, some old classic games. This was, and uh, some updates. This was very good. I really did like this three, um, this Nintendo Direct. It definitely was not subpar like a lot of other Directs were. Um, and definitely. So, DLC was announced. A, a new content. Um, new games. It, all kinds of stuff was announced here. Um, out of a rating of... Um, well, you guys know I like to give my ratings more of a school rating. You know, A, B, C, D, or F. I give it a... I would say a B plus. Um, it didn't give me any um, new new games that I would like to see, like the new Zelda and like that, which I wouldn't expect. So I can't really give it a lower score than like that. At the same time, you did have a couple of things in here that I kind of wasn't interested in for the most part, like Chibi Robo. I gotta say, I, I played Chibi Robo before. It's not a bad game. Don't get it wrong. It's just it's not really the game that I know too much about. So I didn't want to give it too much below score, like a C or anything like that, because I didn't know. I'm not really familiar with the game. But nonetheless, I'm still going to leave it to the high score that I gave it already. So I definitely give it a B plus. Um, so what do you think of the Nintendo Direct? Did you watch it? What do you think of the announcements? I mean, these are some really good announcements. Please go ahead and comment in the comment section below. That's what it's there for. You guys have a good night. Zeph out.